total earnings 101,000 guys. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content about careers, education with adults of reality check. Today, you will finally get the answer to the question I've been trying to avoid for a long time. Yes, the frequently asked question, which is, which degree would you recommend for your daughter with everything you know today? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Already, you know the answer to it by the title of this video. Yeah, it's a computer science degree. And today I will focus on the BSc computer science degree by the University of London on one of the world's most trusted online platform Cozira. Yeah, I'm so excited already. This video will also solve the problem for those who wish to switch to tech while having a full-time job. Yeah, I got you. So this is what I will cover in this video, guys, okay? Why computer science degree from the University of London? Who can pursue this degree? How to apply and where? And also, I will share two salaries of software developers from this industry. Now, let's start with why do I prefer the BSc Com Science degree? Of course, we all know that a Com Science degree is one of the in-demand degrees right now in South Africa and the rest of the world, actually. So, who wouldn't want to master cutting-edge programming skills and prepare for a high-growth tech career? I know I would if I had to go back and choose a different career path. But you know what guys, it's never too late to change your career path. By this, I mean you can take a self-paced, flexible degree to enhance your knowledge and skills with the help of the BSc in Computer Science offered by the University of London through Coursera's online platform. You'll get to learn or perfect your use of widely adopted programming languages such as Python, C++, C Sharp and JavaScript. What's nice with this degree, guys, is you will get tailored experience where you can specialize in one of seven cutting-edge topics such as machine learning and AI, data science, web and mobile development, physical computing and IoT, game development, VR or UX. Yeah, guys, but before we get to who can apply, how to apply, I want to share these two salaries from this field so you can see what you could potentially earn as a com science degree holder. First up is a salary of a senior developer with five years experience. He said he moves a lot and from what I'm seeing here, he's been to eight companies already and of course he has a BSc degree in computer science. This guy is chasing the paper and he needs his financial freedom now. Basic salary 89,480, overtime 12,389, total earnings 101,000 guys. Ooh. Tax paid 33,856, UIF 177, total deductions 34,033 rents, net pay of 67,836. Are you feeling chest pains, guys? <laughs> Are you feeling chest pains? I know I am. <laughs> but you know what? Getting this money can really make you say, would say, uh uh, that was worth all the sweat and tears to acquire that computer science degree. But let's quickly see what a junior software engineer can get with just one year experience. Basic salary 36,526, total deductions 7,156, net pay of 29,369. I think it's a pretty good salary for a junior. What do you think? Now, let's see how the degree prepares you for the real world. So throughout your studies, you'll be creating a portfolio of practical research and applications that can be used to demonstrate your expertise and communicate your word to your employers and investors. Yes, and I think what makes this degree so in demand despite of the current economic crisis, guys, is the fact that it gives you skills that are essential across different industries, including technology, finance, health, telecoms, and more. So in a nutshell, the world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. I don't know if you've noticed how many remote opportunities are now available for South Africans to work for US and UK based companies where you can earn in dollars and pounds guys but spend in rents use it to my ears now let's see how you can apply for this course and here are the requirements 
Of course, you must meet the standard entry requirements for this course, which are clearly specified on the prospectus. Or if you don't have the standard entry requirements, the University of London welcomes applications via the performance-based admission routes. So what do you need to qualify for the performance-based admission? You need a minimum of four GCSE or a high school diploma, which is equivalent to metric. And if you have obtained a mark of three and above in each subject and relevant work experience. Yep. This will apply mostly to my people who are in the industry but still wish to acquire a degree. So guys, hear me well. Hear me well. If you gain a performance-based entry to the degree, you'll also need to achieve a pass in two of the following core modules to remain on the course. Programming 1, Computational Mathematics or Discrete Mathematics. Please note, you don't need to complete these courses before you enroll, okay? They will simply form part of your first time studying the degree. I really think this is a great opportunity for you to explore a whole range of career possibilities as programmers, software engineers, web developers, mobile app developers, creative coders, music or audio engineers, and interface designers. What I like the most with this comp science degree from the University of London offered on Coursera is there are flexible payment options, which simply means you can pay per module. Apply today, guys, for the April or August intake. The link is in the pinned comment on this video. And let me know if you have any questions. We've come to the end of this video, guys. Please like it if you found value or share it with someone. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Bye.